Hey Sagittarius, I hope that you guys are all doing great. I send you much love and light. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to your love reading for May. So today we're going to take a look and see what energy is coming your way. What are your messages from spirit? What are some of the experiences that you could have in your love life this month? All right, thank you so much for clicking on the video. Let's jump into your reading. Before I begin, just want to take a moment to invite the white light of the Holy Spirit. So I can see Leo's energy around you. Are you guys thinking of a Leo? Cross watchers maybe here, maybe moon or rising signs. I, I feel like, um I wonder if you even have more than one person that has their eye on you with these two kings coming through like that. And I talk about having their eye on you because just look at the way these two cards came out and the way that um he's so fixed on her like that. It's just this energy of someone looking you up and down, someone who cannot stop thinking of you no matter how much they try. But I wonder if these people really catch your attention fully. Because do you see, she's not looking back at him. She's like looking, she's looking over at this one, which is funny. So you definitely have more than one person that is interested in you. I know that. I think your I think what appeals to you more this month is a person who is um who thinks with their heart. I think what appeals to you more is a person that's sensitive, a person that's loving, a person that's deep, who is sincere. Someone who's even a little bit shy and not like overly confident. I feel like, I feel like you're more drawn to a sensitive soul because this King of Pentacles, I feel like, yeah, that person's super flashy. Um, they like the finer things. I feel like they, I feel like they're pretty impressive. I feel like they might drive a really nice car. They dress really nice. It's someone who's definitely materialistic. It's someone who is definitely confident, very professional, makes good money even. But for some reason, I don't see you, I don't see that person getting your attention. I feel like you're more drawn to this sensitive, very loving soul um, that you find incredibly beautiful. But what's funny is that person's appeal is almost how they don't see everything that they bring to the table. See, and I wonder, um, is someone looking at you in this way, Sagittarius? You know, of course I'm reading for you, so I look at these as your experiences, but you could even have someone who's looking at you in this way. You know, like that song, you don't know you're beautiful, that's what makes you beautiful, that kind of energy is is there. And I talk about two different people because of this crossroads. The two of wands shows me that you have more than one open path in love. And I think I see you doing a lot of um, analyzing even, really thinking about what you want. Thinking about where you want to go and what's important to you. I see you being in a very confident place this month, feeling like you look good, feeling like you're powerful, feeling attractive, feeling beautiful. I think you're going to feel like um, when you look in the mirror, you really like what you see. You you blossom and you feel proud. So catching someone's eye is like easy for you. I feel like you're just so drawn to this sensitive, this sensitive soul. So it's almost like if anyone is trying to get a Sagittarius's attention, less is definitely more. 
Okay, I wanna look a little bit further into this King of Pentacles to see what they're like. Don't think I'm saying that this is a bad person by any means. It's actually a very successful, good looking person, but for some reason, I feel like um, they don't appeal to you. Then you see energies repeating, very strong Leo energy, Capricorn energy is also here. It could be a Leo or a Capricorn coming to you, Sagittarius. Could be, you could be on the cusp of Capricorn. It could be moon or rising signs, or maybe who you're thinking of. That's funny to see the five of cups around this person. Someone really needs to work at showing uh, their softer side. I feel like they're making this approach towards you of just wanting to impress you and they're going about it the wrong way because you don't seem to be impressed at all by mater materialism. And that's actually a big turn off for you. And it could be something that even makes you turn this person down or tell them that you don't want to uh, like talk to them anymore, that you don't want to be involved with them anymore because you see how this person is dumped. Like that's what the five of cups represents. That person is being dumped. So even, you know, advice to you, Sagittarius, you know, if this energy, like if you look at it in a different way, if it's reversed, if you're trying to get someone's attention per se, I feel like less is more still. Show what's on the inside, not necessarily focusing so much on the outside. I know that I see you guys looking good, feeling good, being able to attract someone. But if you feel like these circumstances for you play out in a different way, you can relate to the energies, maybe feeling like you're trying to get someone to notice you. Less is definitely more. They want to see more into your heart and soul. I don't mean to sound corny when I say that, but that that is the truth because whoever is like um super focused on materialism they're going to come across as shallow even though this person may not be shallow they're coming across that way and that's the one that is not going to get chosen okay that's what i can see i want to look at that seven of cups because i feel like it's that king of cups because you see these two energies here it's very emotional with all of those cups and then um, the King of Cups in reverse, that's why I talk about someone who doesn't actually know everything that they bring to the table. It's a very sensitive soul. It's even someone who at times wonders like um, how you really feel about them, wondering how deep your feelings actually go. So they're very much in their own head thinking about you constantly. But there's so much worry in this person's energy. Maybe they just worry about the fact that they could be competing with someone else because you know some of you may make it clear that you are talking to more than one person maybe you haven't settled into a connection you could be dating around because there's definitely more than one person that's here pisces energy and capricorn is here pisces capricorn leo so again, it could be cross watchers, moon or rising, who you're dealing with, or who's coming your way, or cross watchers. The moon in reverse is about like things are not clear to me. I need clear. I need clarity. I don't know where I stand with you. I don't know what we're doing. I don't know what we're going. I don't know what you want. So so you have a person that looks very emotional when it comes to you. Sagittarius, you know, if you're in this, this is a very powerful position. And if you can relate to what I'm saying, and you are the one that's like turning people down, someone that you have your eye on, um, I think it's just important for you to know this person that I can see you really liking doesn't altogether know that you like them as much as you do, or maybe they're just like starting to grow on you. If you feel like you're developing feelings more and more for this person, 
I think it's important that you make that clear to them. Like if you've cut out others and you decide that you just want to invest in this person and see where things could go, I think it's super important to them even that you let them know that. for clarity, for their heart, for their peace of mind. But then also, I will tell you this, if they keep feeling like they're going unacknowledged, you see those cups there and the way that person's walking away from an invested place, they, they just might feel like that's what they need to do. So it's time... I mean, I can't tell you what to do, but this is like about being at a crossroads, making a decision. I feel like you will make a decision. You know, it could be time for you to choose uh, one connection to focus on. And of course, if you are single and dating around, that's absolutely acceptable for you. I just see you turning certain people down and I see that if, so you'll turn someone down but the person that you want, if you don't make that known to them, they're going to take that as a rejection from you. So I see you making decisions. I see a lot going on in your love life this month. It's certainly not going to be boring. If you are single, there's a lot of action, a lot of uh, emotions, energies. Pisces, again, is very strong here. So I wonder if you guys have Pisces around you or if you're cross-watching this. Um, no pressure. No pressure. I, I, I don't tell you that to put pressure on you because this energy, and I look at you as the queen of wands in this spread, um, to see the nine of wands come through, that's like a lot of pressure. Because it's like the bar surrounding this person, even feeling imprisoned, trapped. Like, uh, I have to make a decision. What do I do? Take your time, think things through. You won't make a wrong choice. I feel like anyone dealing with a Sagittarius, less is definitely more. They're not impressed by materialism. They're impressed by sensitivity and like an open heart, a beautiful soul. And and, and I don't wanna put pressure on you Sagittarius because I, I feel like, um. If you do feel like any kind of pressure is on you, you may, you may kind of like retreat, you may become distant, you may shut down. But I also know that you are in a place where you could make a decision. I don't want to put pressure on you, you know, but that's what your reading really is all all about. Maybe um, having to choose. So Aries energy is also coming through and I feel like everything is, is real. Aries and Leo, again, very strong. These tens are repeating. I And then when you see around the decision, the Queen of Swords in reverse, that is spirit really telling you to like, consider the advice to really let, let your guard down and don't look at like, you know, making a choice in love or like choosing to invest in a particular connection. It could be something that's really good for you right now because everything here is telling you to to kind of let your guard down and open up, be open to making a choice. It's a fine line to walk with you because I know that you have someone that's really wondering how you feel about them. And the longer they go not knowing, the more distant this person will become because they are so sensitive. They do have a very like beautiful and open heart. So I feel like you might be, you know, you're going to be put in that kind of position. But the, the the thing that's very clear is I see you even dumping that person, whoever that is. The one that is too showy. 
the one that brags too much, the one that you can't really have any like philosophical, spiritual or deep conversations with, the one that you feel uh, won't open up their heart to you. It's ironic because you have one that is super open to you, but then there's like hesitancy around truly embracing it all the way. And your message here is it's time for you to make a choice and you know which one to choose. Decisions, decisions, decisions. That's what this uh, reading for you is all about in May. All right, Sagittarius. So I feel like there's, there's a heads up. If you do like this person the way that I can see, it's time for you to make a move. Or maybe if it's flipped around when it comes to a Sagittarius, you don't want to keep them waiting too long for you to, you know, move things in a, in a more monogamous direction. You don't want to keep them waiting too long to have like an important talk about where things are heading with the two of you. Because I feel like they will let it go and they will just kind of chalk it up to, well, maybe the time is not right for me and you, but then it could be too little too late if you try and um it once they walk away they walk away like that's that's it and even if like a week later someone decides oh you know that the time is right it's going to be too little too late so that could be advice to someone regarding a sagittarius but sagittarius if that is you I, I think it's something that you should consider taking really seriously, not to put pressure on you, because I know you guys do not like any pressure being put on you, especially this month, that's what I can see, but that is what spirit is showing me. And everything here is telling you to let your guard down. All right, Sagittarius, that's what I can see. A lot of, a lot going on in your love life this month and decisions to be made. Okay, I love you. Thank you so much for being here with me for your May love reading. If you guys enjoyed it, if you got something out of it, please give it a thumbs up. That would be awesome. Share the video. That would be great. Subscribe to my channel. Leave a comment. Thank you guys for everything. I'll see you soon.